Hi, Kingdom Kids. I really miss you guys, and I know I can speak for all the Kingdom Kids teachers, and we wish we could be with you this Sunday morning to celebrate Easter. I'm sure you're having a wonderful week with your parents and your siblings, uh, eating all sorts of yummy food and playing games and doing activities to keep yourself busy. So we'll be back together again very, very soon. This Sunday's lesson picks up uh, just a few days after the lesson we did last Sunday about Palm Sunday when Jesus entered Jerusalem. So you may be wondering, why am I outside at night in the dark? Well, because the story we're going to talk about starts when Jesus took his disciples to a garden to pray. And after they went and prayed, there were soldiers who came and they arrested Jesus and they took him and put him in jail. Now, that may seem a little strange, right? Because why would Jesus need to go to jail? The truth is, is Jesus didn't do anything wrong. He was innocent of everything that they accused him of. And so I want you to watch this story to learn a little bit about what happened after the soldiers came and took Jesus away. The religious leaders told the governor, Pilate, that Jesus was dangerous and wanted to be king. Pilate asked Jesus, Is this true? I am king, Jesus answered, but not of this world. Jesus is innocent, said Pilate. There's no reason to kill him. I will set him free. But the crowd shouted, Kill him! So Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus. They forced a thorny crown on his head. Then they laid a wooden cross on his back and led him up a hill. There on that hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, hands and feet. Then they raised it high. Jesus hung there between two criminals. Around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed and said, You saved other people. Why can't you save yourself? Forgive them, Father, said Jesus. When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and said, It is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. One of Jesus' followers, a man named Joseph, put Jesus' body in a brand new tomb. He rolled a huge stone in front of it. A long, sad Friday was over. So at this point in our story, Jesus has died. He was crucified, nailed to a cross, and died and put in a tomb. It's pretty sad when you think about it. And you may wonder, why? Why would they do this to Jesus? Why would they kill him? And I want you to know that there's a reason that Jesus came. Jesus came to earth, God sent him, so that you and I could be saved. Jesus came and died on the cross because he died for our sin. Now you remember what sin is. Sins are things that can keep us from God. So disobedience and lying, impatience, selfishness, yelling and screaming at your brother or sister, hitting or kicking, any of those kind of things, the things that are not right in our hearts. And so Jesus had to come because we needed a savior to save us from all those sins. And I want you to know that God sent his son, Jesus, for you. God loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you so that you could know Jesus and go and live with him forever. So it may seem like pretty sad that Jesus had to die. And right now in our story, Jesus is in a tomb and there's a stone that's been put in front of his grave. And I bet you know what's probably gonna happen. But right now it could kind of feel dark, right? Dark and the death of Jesus can make us sad. But I want you to know that in a moment, it can turn to day. The story's not over. I want you to watch this next part and see what happens next. Sunday morning, 
Some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone, and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either, but I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Kingdom kids, did you see that? Jesus is alive. He's risen. That's why we celebrate Easter. We celebrate the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord. Isn't that amazing? So I want you to remember that God loves you. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die for you. And that if you believe in him, you don't have to perish, but you can have eternal life. It's John 3, 16. Maybe this week you could work on memorizing that. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. I have an activity coming up, so stay tuned. All right, kids, so here's the activity for this week. You may require a little bit of help from your parents. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a package of crescent rolls, some marshmallows, a quarter of cup butter melted, two tablespoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of sugar, a sheet pan, and a little bit of spray. You'll want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, okay? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your crescent rolls. You're gonna lay them out, and what you can do is kind of press them out a little bit, just very slightly with your fingertips. Make sure you've washed your hands first. Okay, so you press them out, okay? Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cinnamon, dump it in a bowl, your sugar, put it in with your cinnamon, mix it together. Okay, so it's all nice and mixed up. Then you're gonna take a marshmallow. Now, I had to use a little bit different marshmallow, but you'll wanna use the big marshmallows. I had a marshmallow sheet that I had to cut up. And so what you wanna do first is you wanna dip it in the butter, Okay, and take it over to your cinnamon and sugar. Make sure you get it all nice and coated. Now, so what we're doing here, and the reason we're making resurrection rolls is because we are, this week is about Easter, and so we're learning about how Jesus died and was buried in the tomb, and then he rose again. So the marshmallow's kind of like supposed to represent Jesus, and how he was laid to rest in the tomb and they covered his body with spices and then they put him in the burial clothes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this cinnamon and sugar and put it on top. Sprinkle it, cover it nice and well there, okay? Then you're gonna take the crescent roll and you're gonna put it around marshmallow. So it's like Jesus, when they buried him in the tomb, they wrapped him up in the clothes, the death clothes, and they rolled him, rolled it. Okay, and you're rolling your marshmallow in there, just like this. Okay? So you'll do every one of them like that, all right? Okay, so we've got all of our marshmallows wrapped. And so what I did is I took my pan spray and I sprayed the pan, I already did it. <laughs> you can see it's on there. And then you wanna take 
your rolls with your marshmallows and put them on the baking sheet. Put a little bit of distance between them like this. And then you're gonna put them in the oven at 375 for around, I think, 11 minutes. So check your package of your crescent rolls to make sure you're putting them in for the right amount of time. Okay, so I'm gonna take them and put them in the oven. Okay, so we took them out of the oven. Look how nice and brown they are. We'll just show you what happens. So if you open one up, look, the marshmallow is gone. This is supposed to be like the empty tomb, just like when Jesus rose from the dead and the tomb was empty. So that's our activity for this week. I hope you enjoy the yummy dessert. Well, yes, dessert, yes. <laughs> All right, see you next week.